Hello my darlings and welcome to my channel. I missed you already. Sorry I wasn't here. I had to work on our upcoming Soul Journey retreat that's coming online in a couple of days. If you still want to join, please email me in the box down below. I'll leave the information. Uh, also in the comment section I'll leave the information about the retreat where we're gonna talk about your soul. We're gonna actually transform your soul and um, we're going to talk about self-esteem, we're going to talk about karma, how it works, how is it connected to your past lives and so forth. Um, you will also interact with each other, including with me. We're going to talk about spells and how to attract money, um, numerology codes that's going to help you to improve your financial life, your personal life, uh, love and relationships. We're going to talk about all of that. In this retreat and uh, some people say it's kind of expensive I mean yes but uh, listen you have to understand that um, things that may change your life or at least have a possibility to change your life for better you have to pay for them this is like an exchange for the universe and people that sometimes even asking uh, I mean readings for free just readings. I understand some of you don't have that, uh, um, you know, your budget doesn't allow, but I'm talking about in general. Anything for free usually doesn't work as something that you pay for. Just letting you know, okay? And of course, I'm not forcing anyone, but I'm so excited about this retreat. Um, and for those who already paid and uh, did everything, I'm going to send you information soon about the next steps. Anyways, and because I'm using ink in our upcoming retreat, I decided to do an ink reading for you, <laughs> guys. Okay, so uh, today you may choose from those two uh, hearts. The first heart is strength. And the second heart is just like that, round. Choose your heart, choose your stone, or you can watch both piles. And today we're going to look at what's coming next, what will surprise you maybe, what will come to the surface. Anything that you need to find out right now. So let's start. Hello pile one, whoever chose this um, heart. Let's start with you, okay? Let's see what uh, the ink will show about you. Something you need to know. I'm just gonna go with the flow. Wherever my hands go, okay? Let's see what the universe would like to tell you. Any information that comes. Okay, pile one. Let's look at you. Uh, you don't have to understand anything that's going on here, but if you see some image or something that's somehow important for you, uh, it will be a sign for you or you may comment down below. I already see an ear. 
Do you see? Someone is listening. So right away I want to say you may uh, find out uh, that someone either was listening to some conversation of yours, maybe between you and the other person, and they will tell you that they know about something. This is for some of you. For others of you, you will hear someone's conversation uh, that you didn't expect to hear. Or you will overhear something. Um, maybe even from a third person. It doesn't necessarily to have to be like you heard something. You may Somebody else may tell you, listen, I just overheard this, this and that. And this information is going to be important. Why? Because it's like it... It's very important and, um, in your reading. It's one of the first things that came that I, I noticed. So it's this information is going to be very noticeable. But because I'm very curious <laughs> for you guys, I want to ask what kind of information um, is coming. And actually, I'm going to use the Monara deck, even though I cannot use it on YouTube. I didn't use it for so such a long time. Uh, I'm not going to show you all the cards, but I'm going to, I want to look at what exactly. Wow, it's, it seems like it's about love. Just Queen of Cups just, you know, showed up. But let's see, or maybe it's going to come from a woman. Um, a water sign of somebody who you have a very nice, decent connection with. Okay, what is this about? What is this um, temperance? Again, I cannot show you the cards here, but I'll tell you three of cups. Definitely about love. And ten of fire. Okay, what you will overhear? Maybe someone, two people fought um, somewhere because of you. Or like somebody argued because of you or somebody uh, cannot help it but um, having feelings for you and you will overhear this you will overhear maybe about someone's uh, indifference towards you emotions for some it could be their emotions could also be negative like for example they're jealous of you and you're gonna overhear that somebody doesn't like you for certain reasons but it's just because they're jealous but for most of you, it's going to be about love situation. Yes. <laughs> A certain king of water showed up as well. Yeah, someone is a very, very passionate about you. And you will, yeah, even maybe in love, two of water over here, okay? Okay, what else? Uh, you will get some letter. I more sense email or message, but for some it's a literal letter in your mail. And uh, the message is going to be very emotional and fiery because you see it's like it's the energy is coming from it, uh, through it, like... Either someone's going to be very excited when they message you or, you know, email you or whatever. What kind of, um, what kind of excitement or energy is that? Like, is it positive, negative? What is this about? What is this um, message or email about? The priest. It's a formal message. Oh my god, wow, pile number one. The message will start formal, or it's going to be about formal things or professional matter. But deep down, this person, when they were writing this for you or to you, they were very, very, very excited. So maybe they have other thoughts about you or about your connection. But uh, their main reason to write, to message, or to email you is going to be more formal. 
maybe even spiritual. But deep down this person is like going crazy. <laughs> maybe someone, maybe it's your secret admirer here. Yeah, could be, could be. But you will be um, also con excited and confused about them or about this message. I don't know if those two things are related to each other. For some it does, for some it's a different people, different matter. Somebody of you will sign a contract of a new job, new opportunity, new business, new partnership. I see signing because even when I was doing your reading, it was all about some signing paperwork. Maybe you're currently working on something and signing some documents or you will be. Or if you were waiting for a visa or document or passport, whatever it is, you will get it in time here. Or whatever you applied for or to is going to be positive, great news. Maybe even check your mail. Maybe it's already in your mail, by the way. One, two, three may mean something to you or in the upcoming uh, weeks, I hear. Um, maybe you're going to see it everywhere from now on or you already do. Or those numbers will come to you uh, when you will need a support the most or you will need some confirmation the most those numbers are coming that's how you know you write about what you're thinking pay attention pile number one also one two three can mean that uh, there are certain steps towards your wish for example uh, you may wish for something, manifested something, or you want to manifest, right? But the way it will come to you, it will require several steps. Uh, like for instance, you want to have a new job or a specific job you want to have. Before you get there, you will meet several people who will lead you towards this job. Uh, basically not the main thing or the main idea or the main job or the main person is going to be the one that you need but it's going to be a path leading towards where you need to go so understand when you have something coming up it doesn't always mean that this is what you need but this is the path towards what you need so don't give up easily here It could also be about relationship, by the way. It looks like a hand showing to the left. It could be um, somebody will show you um, mm, interesting. Maybe you will be talking to someone and ask where to go or you would be lost. Somebody will show you the path. For others, uh, you will get some I don't know, either you see it on the internet or somewhere there will be a hand pointing at something. There is some sign waiting for you there. Some confirmation, some notification. For some reason, at that moment, you may not even understand what is this about, but you're just gonna go towards it or you're just gonna keep it in your head and then later, Later it will come to you. I hear later uh, this year. I don't know. I feel I hear later of 2023. Uh, this is an uh, you know timeless reading, but for some, by the end of this year, if you watch now, 
you'll understand where it was pointing at or why you got specific signs yes you have a lot of arrows here like you have pointing uh, uh, images here it's like the universe will lead you you're gonna be guided but not just guided by certain signs that you usually get this is like literal like people will send you somewhere for example uh, you have a certain goal in your head and you don't really know how to get there you just have it right suddenly somebody will text you maybe your friend or somebody you know just like that and say listen uh, we're making a certain uh, party or event or something uh, and at that day go and you know uh, you know I want you to come there so don't take it personally but at the same time don't just go because from there you may get another it will get lead you towards something else because remember your path has steps your goal has a specific map to it let's say it that way it's a journey uh, I even heard it's a journey of the next three months from whenever you watch this reading. Wow. Number eight could also mean something here. I also hear unfinished business. Because the eight is not complete. Uh, maybe you, for example, for those people who started something for example it's a business maybe right or a project and you never finished it or you started uh, journaling you never finished it you started um, investing in something in a certain sport or um, career school and you never finished it it's time to continue and finish what you started because somehow it is part of the puzzle it's part of the puzzle of this journey overall. Wow, your uh, reading is very mystical, pile number one. Uh, it's like everything is somehow, some way connected here. Mm. There is some woman around you or will be that will somehow be also a part of this journey and how you will notice her she's gonna have a little butterfly either on her shirt or on her dress or on her hair a sign of a butterfly or a sign of something with the butterfly it could be a little flower, but more I sense a butterfly. This is going to be part of the puzzle. That's it. Mm -hmm. There is a person. Listen to me, pile number one. There is a person in your within your surroundings right they want to say something but they cannot they have certain uh, it's not really a blockage it's not an inner it's an outside matter it's not because they have inner uh, blockages or concerns to say something it's more outside problems issues conflicts that they cannot speak out for now hear me out for now because I hear as soon as this puzzle of yours will lead you wherever it needs to lead you this person will naturally unfold in your story wow this is crazy pile number one 
because he this person he or she they're in the square here they're in the middle of your puzzle they're one of the biggest figures here but they cannot open or open up or somehow be in your life until this all this you know uh, situation will be unveiled but as soon as you will get where you need to get or you will be very close to where you need to get as I said I hear in the next three months or so for some it may lead up to six months but for most of you it's three months upcoming months right this person naturally will unfold how what where, where I don't know but there is someone like that do you even know that they are a part of this puzzle or part of this journey do they do you even know that they're important in your journey you don't why you consider them the devil interesting you consider them the devil and the temperance a person that Yes, you consider them as a person that doesn't want to come out of their comfort zone or they not speaking out or look at this, this they also here they're also like uh, they can, cannot come out of this they want to come out but they're afraid Okay, now I understand Pile number one the person that will eventually be revealed to you or somehow will play a major role in your journey eventually you don't know about this yet even if you know them or you understand who I'm talking about you don't either believe in it or you feel like they would never step out or there is no reason for them to speak out there is no reason for them to do this or that or they're not that kind of person I don't know Yes, maybe they're very shy or you feel like they would never do this, but they will. They will. That's what will surprise you, pile number one. That's what will be the biggest surprise for you eventually. You will realize that later. Please come back to this reading when you do. <laughs> I hope you will remember this reading by that time. Let me know in comments, guys. And I'm going for pile number two. Hello, pal two, whoever chose this um, shape of heart, red, I guess, orange color. Let's see what information needs to come through, what's coming ahead, what kind of surprises. Whatever my hand will write, it's going to be for you. And then I'm going to describe, okay? Wow, you are very different from pile one. Okay, so pile number two, 
uh, that's your ink okay the first thing you notice or something you notice that I don't say that means the message was specifically for you or you can write it down in the comment section if you see something maybe somebody else will need this message some of you will be celebrating soon open uh, you know some bottle of wine or whatever you drink um, to celebrate to celebrate maybe you're going to someone's birthday maybe you will be invited to someone's birthday unexpectedly this is more of unexpected uh, birthday or event uh, where you will be suddenly invited maybe you wouldn't even have time to pack especially if it's somewhere far away where you have to pack your bags uh, maybe long weekend uh, you know trip but you're gonna love it let me tell you pile two i'm truly happy for you it's gonna be like a getaway from life uh you're gonna um, you're gonna be very recharged after that and even here you will you would even talk about you want to repeat this journey this trip eventually even if the trip is around your house you know but it's gonna be a very memorable trip what else Uh, someone uh, put their eyes on you here, Pao Tzu. But they're holding themselves back. They are looking at you. They may be looking at your... Uh, I just heard energy. They try to read you. Interesting. Especially if this person sees you somewhere. They could have round eyes, by the way. Or big or round eyes. They could have a cute smile. Um, if this person can see you somewhere, somewhere you don't know, or like for example, if you're on social media or somewhere, uh, I don't know, if you're famous somewhere, or people know you somehow, uh, or maybe they're at your work, they can literally, you know, observe you during the day. So this person, uh, they try to read you. Mm -hmm. they try to read your mind about them for example do you like them back or you don't are you playing with them or you don't why am I feeling this person is like uh, had so much you know pain in their life that they barely trust anyone they have trust issues let me look a little bit more into them. Trust issues. Hmm. Who is this person? I cannot show you all the cards because this is a, a Manara. Definitely have... Uh, they have some things from the past that they kind of still apply to them. For example, it triggers them. Hmm. They see you as a star. They look, look at you and they don't understand you for some reason. They don't understand if you're playing with them. But they're keep, they watching you. Okay, there is a... Either it's a secret admirer or somebody you know. Maybe just an admirer. But they don't show their feelings or their emotions because they try to look at yours first. And they look at you and they don't understand. Hopefully these cards wouldn't block this video. Uh, they don't understand if you... Are you really the star? Are you really... Do you really match the image that you show of yourself? That's what they're trying to understand. Or this is a game. Hmm, file two. This person may not even um, approach you or talk to you currently or like 
not saying anything because they're trying to understand interesting they're trying to understand why they like you so much what's there in you that drags them towards uh, you what is it because i saw the moon over there they're very attracted to you they don't even understand why it's like you I just heard you manifested them. Maybe you wanted this person to like you. Like maybe even a long time ago. I don't know. They trying to figure you out basically, okay? But they holding themselves on a, on a leash. Because they afraid that they will fall for your trap. Wow, that was very specific for someone. Understand this is a general reading. But I strongly feel this person's energy. Um, for now, they will try and read you and understand you. Observe. Number four could mean something. As well as number one. Maybe even number one, 14 could also be. Or um, somehow maybe you... It's maybe even connected with this person. Or it's just in general. This is the numbers that somehow related to you. Letter P, if you see it here, could mean something. You know what I see over here? Um, you know when before people did laundry outside and they would put the clothes to uh, dry? Why is it showing me that? Maybe there is a place where you will see clothes like that, like drying clothes. It's like after the rain or after the wash because there is water in here. I don't even know why I see this image here. Why? Like a laundry. Yes. Let's say it metaphorically, okay? There is a person. Uh, this person uh, could be related to your family or they were your family. They going over your laundry. What does it mean? They gossip about you. What are you doing? Who are you sleeping with? How your life is going? How much money you make? And so forth. Basically, this laundry idea of dirty talk. This is metaphorically, okay? Someone is uh, doing your laundry. Hmm. Uh, they uh, they kind of upset. This person could be very upset about something or about you. They may even dress like that somehow, or they may be professional at something, maybe they, uh, I don't know, they have, maybe they're a doctor, literally, or they have a certain profession, or they have a business, something, maybe a dress code, but this kind of person doing your laundry and talking about you, and someone else. Why do you need this information? 
well, um, you don't. <laughs> you show them, you know, your back. Let's say it that way. Uh, but definitely someone is talking behind your back that you you have no morals or something like that this is crazy why because this person or people they're jealous of you they're jealous they're upset okay let's skip that part i don't i don't want to talk about this anymore Uh, I hear uh, the word marriage. Marriage. Someone is thinking to marry you here. If that's uh, applicable to you, whoever's watching, it's a general reading. Someone is considering marrying you. This is not just someone's marriage. Also, letter B could be important. H. Or someone imagining how it will be to be married to you, to be a family with you. How would it be? Well, let's see who is this person. Let's be more curious here. <laughs> How to? I know you probably want to know who is thinking that way. I swear, I cannot make this up. You see, married couple. I cannot show you. I cannot show you uh, everything because of YouTube. But um, there is a woman in a veil, and there is a mar It's uh, in this specific deck. This is a marriage card. Wow, I love Manara. It's like it's so clear. Someone is imagining how it will be to be uh, have a married life with you. How comfortable it will be. Why are they thinking about that? Mm. Uh, they try to apply it in their head because hmm. because they don't know if they can accomplish all your needs or like will they be a good match for you can they be a good couple for you a good spouse for you can they I would tell you they can, but they uh, have doubts. This is their personal inner fears. They have lots of fears here. Um, maybe because of past experience. Yeah, past experiences. Or this person never been into something serious. Or they in general not... Interesting. Listen, it's a general reading. I cannot say do you need this person or not. But I would say that um, they see you as a star. They see you as someone that deserves the best. They've seen in you. Even if this person never thought of marriage or never um, considered to be married again, for example, they were already divorced, I don't know. When they saw you, they thought about this again, or they thought about this for the first time in their life. Yes, 
they saw you something somewhere or they somehow communicated with you and they realized that you are marriage material hmm okay I see two uh, noses, very nosy. You have lots of people around you. I don't see that you care about them, but you have lots of people who are currently or in general, they talking, talking, talking about you. I don't know why it's all over your reading pile two maybe you know better for those who worried about money or job uh, uh, expect some offer offer that will be connected to some uh, to, uh, to people like for example you will talk to somebody and they say, oh, I'm looking for, you know, for an employee. Or I know this guy who needs someone that knows a specific, um, who's knowledgeable in something specific. And you will be this person who, who does. So, connections, basically. Uh, new connections. From one person to another, from this person to the other. You will find um, a good place for you to work or a good opportunity um, a good project that you will eventually do with someone so keep being in touch with different people because those people may lead you towards your dream job or towards accomplishing your goals um, i see it here very well okay You may get good news. Maybe for some you will literally get a bouquet of flowers from someone. Or someone's thinking to give it to you. Or you thinking to give it to someone. Uh, but for others, if you, uh, for example, you're waiting for some health um, results or like you have some health issues, they will be resolved. You will get good news about your um, situation or your health. Or you'll get some um, idea on how to manage your health. Also that. So that's what I had for you today, pile number two, so far. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. I love you all. And I'll see you in my other videos. Bye-bye.